Hi everyone! As you all know, I had to get braces because I couldn't wear my retainer because I got sick. So I had to get braces, so I'm going to teach you some things that we all should know before I remove them. When you get braces, you're going to get this. This is an ortho kit. It's a hygiene kit that has a lot of things to help you take care of your teeth and your braces, to clean them and keep them healthy. I'm going to show you how to use them. How to brush with braces. First, you need a good toothbrush with good bristles and you need a good technique. You need to start in order. You need to brush in the back, start in the back, above the braces, then over and then underneath. Always start in the back like this. And when you're in the front and you're ready to switch, go back to where you left off and then keep going to the back. When you finish on this side, go back to the other side and brush over the brackets like this. You switch, keep going where you left off, go to the other side. And when you finish there, go and go underneath. Switch where you left off and then finish. That's how you brush. How to floss with braces. Okay, so you need floss. Any kind is okay. You need dental floss threaders, which are these plastic things that they give you at the ortho office with floss. But in my practice, I really prefer to have this, which I'll call platypus. I'm gonna show you how to use them. So, I'm gonna show you how to do threaders, okay? So a lot of people ask me, what about the water pick? Okay, water picks are great, but water picks are in addition to flossing, not in replacement of flossing. Flossing cannot be replaced. You need to brush and floss. Mm -hmm. So, to floss with a threader, you need to put the floss inside the threader, kind of like a needle, but plastic. Okay, and then you put the threader like this. Okay, the thread is helping, pass the floss, and then, there you go. You go like this, and then you let go, okay? It's a lot of time to do that, so I prefer to do this. This is a trick I use. I take the floss, and it has to be a wax floss, and I just go like this. Sorry guys, I have to get glasses because I can't see anymore like you all know. So, you get in here with the floss, and you hold the floss like this. And I think that's easier than using flosser. And you just go like that and then take it off. So I kind of like not like using flossers because it takes too much time and they're kind of like sturdy and big, but you can do either or, okay? So I like just using the floss. But I discovered that you can get this. This is called the platypus. And it has this tip to help go like between the teeth like this. But also, it has, it's a little bit different than the ones that they use for regular floss because it has that flat tip here, and this is not so flat, and it has the floss in here. So all you have to do is go like this. Underneath the guard, and then you go in, and you floss, look. So the platypus is amazing because you also can floss easily in the back. So you can go here, and you can floss in the back. And what you can do is rinse it with water and keep going between the teeth, okay? So I highly recommend this product. You can buy it in Amazon and you can get like 300, a bag for 300 for a few bucks. And it's a really good tool where you embrace it because it makes flossing like whew, a breeze. And remember, the water pick is in addition to. And for the water pick, you can put fluoride instead of water or fluoride rinse with water or xylitol mix with water while you do your water pick, okay? Also remember, you have wax to help you with pain and you have mirrors to help you look when you have long wires. The last thing I wanted to show you is the interproximal brushes. Interproximal brushes are little brushes like this. Okay, you can buy them in the pharmacy or in the dollar stores. 
uh, very inexpensive but they're little brushes how do you use these they're very important because the big brushes don't go with underneath the wires they only go above on top and below the brackets these ones are supposed to clean here underneath the wire on the sides of the bracket so you go here and you go here and you go here and you go here very important and you can rinse it and you can put a cap on it and you can save it okay so remember interproximal brushes are part of brushing with braces very important every day thank you a lot of people ask me how to use wax i'm gonna show you wax is very important because it's gonna help you with the pain when you first get braces the braces are gonna scratch your lips inside and the cheeks here so in order to alleviate the pain we use wax so you're gonna take a little bit out of the book here of the wax and you're gonna roll it between your fingers kind of like a play-doh make a little ball make a squishy and then you're gonna come here where do you have the pain usually where the canines and the molars are and you're gonna squeeze that ball here against the bracket and then that's gonna make a smooth surface so the lip is gonna go over it and it's gonna not have pain until you heal and you feel better meanwhile you can do rinses with warm water and just let it heal and it will be okay bye